Hello and welcome. We are going to look today at virtual machines networking and specifically the bridged version. This is applicable to VirtualBox as well as VMware. Here I have my home network or an office network where I have my laptop connected to a router through Wi-Fi or cables and I have a printer. This is my virtual machine. So we are going to see uh, how it's interacting with the laptop and the other equipment. First of all, it's connected to the laptop through the virtual network. The router itself has the IP address 192.168.1.1 and my laptop has received through DHCP the IP address 192.168.1.14 from the router which has the DHCP function. My virtual machines adapter has been now configured to bridged. Bridged means that my client 10 machine will be on the network as if it was directly connected to the network the 192.168.1.0. So how is my machine getting its IP address? My machine is getting the IP address directly from the router through its DHCP server. In my case, it got the IP address 192.168.1.15. In that configuration, what I can do from my virtual machine is that I can access any equipment which is in the network 192.168.1.0. It means that I can connect to the printer, I can connect to the router. With this, my default gateway is the network gateway, meaning the router DHCP1. With that, I'll be able to access internet and to go on the web. Let's now introduce some more virtual machines. I introduce here AD1, it's a virtual machine, it's a Windows 2012 server. Another server, which is Nano One, it's a 2016 Nano server. Those two servers are connected together and their adapters are configured for internal. This means that when they are in the internal configuration, no communication can happen with the client 10, for example, with the router or with the printer. This is really good for test environments like that you are sure that anything that would go wrong is limited to this network. Nevertheless, with that configuration, it's difficult to make updates or to have antivirus update. We are going to switch their adapters to the bridged possibility. With bridged possibility, they will be able to access the router, to access the client 10 and the printer and of course internet. So let's see a bit how the IP addresses are allocated. It's from the router if it's DHCP configured that the IP address are coming. This is of course one way to configure them. With this they have IP addresses that are managed by the router and they can access all the network. I have preferences to give them in that configuration fixed IPs. So for 81, I gave the IP address ending in 60. And for Nano 1, I gave the IP address ending in 51. Let's now have a look at the configuration to see how we are doing this. So I'm in front of AD1. You see the, the machine is here. And it has already been configured with the fixed IP address, which is here. And we, we see that uh, updates are not really configured on that server. So I'm going now to change the settings. For this, I go on AD1 settings. And I'm going to look at the network settings. And you see that it is internal network. So I'm going to switch this to bridged adapter. I say OK. Some changes have happened and now I go and I see what I can do from that uh, system. First of all, I'm going to look at its uh, configuration. 
So we are here with the fixed IP address and I'm going to see whether I ping the router. Yes, I can ping the router. I can ping the host. And I want to see if I can ping the client 10. We see that I can ping the client 10 and I will ping nano one. It's telling us that the host is not reachable. So there must be something that is missing. So we are going back to that virtual machine. And here in the devices, the network, in the network settings, we are going to check. And what we see here, it's that it is really bridged. But you see here below, this is a mistake that can happen. It's that uh, the system chose the Brodacom Netlink Gigabit Ethernet adapter, while we have all the other equipment on the Qualcomm Ateros wireless one. So I need to change this to say OK. And let's now try again. And as you can see, it's working. I have now the nano one that is connected and can be pinged by other equipments. Let's now check if uh, updates are available. For this, I will first do the configuration. It's now going to check for updates if anything is available. So we see that uh, now it has found quite a lot of uh, updates. So this just proves that uh, this configuration with the bridge environment is better if you want to, to update your system. So far so good. I think that if at that point you still have issues with the connections that you check the adapter, it might also be the firewall. So in that case, you need first to go and check the firewall. With that, I think that uh, you have all the information to do now a bridged network, even with several servers. Be aware that uh, it's more dangerous for the servers. If you have this on a laptop and your laptop, you are going to connect it to a customer or to your office location or at some other friends what you have in your virtual machines will directly be detected by those networks as well as your machine will detect those networks so there might be issues if you have the hcp servers which are enabled on those servers it might be really tricky so be really aware that when you go at another network it's preferable to keep it as internal network than bridge networks but you know what you do now you have the knowledge so it's up to you so i'm left with wishing you a good time i hope that you appreciated the video you can subscribe to the channel and see you soon bye <laughs>